Hey, seventh graders. I am coming to you to talk about the next section of your summer math. Finding the GCF and finding the LCM. So the GCF means greatest common factor and the LCM means the least common multiple. And something I think is funny is that a little I find entertaining is the greatest common factor is actually a smaller number than the numbers that we're looking at. Whereas the least common multiple, that is actually going to be a larger number than the numbers that we're looking at. So let's look at greatest common factor. Greatest common factor means we're going to look at the factors that play into both of these numbers and we're going to find which one is the greatest that they share. For example, I go to 27 and I write the factors of 27. 1, 3, 9, 27. Those are all the factors that belong to 27. 36 has more factors. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Now, we see that they share 1 and they share 3, but the greatest number that they share is 9. Therefore, 9 is the greatest common factor of these two numbers. When I come to least multiple, I do something different. I look at the numbers and I look at what the skip counting would be of these numbers. What are the multiples? What would these numbers, so like this continues. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. It keeps going. This is going to go for infinity. It's going to keep going. The skip counting will. For 30, it would be 30, 60, 90, 112, 150, and so on. We would keep skip counting. Now, they both share 120, but is that the least number that they share? The least multiple? No, they both share 60. 60 is the least common multiple that these two numbers share. 